Good day, lovely ladies and gentlemen. I'm Seik, and welcome back to another episode of my Let's Play of Assassin's Creed Odyssey. And these guys seem to be on my heels. That's the problem. You're all dead. Do they see me? No. Like I said, if they don't let me through, they gonna die. Why is no one listening to me? Oh, I gained a level up in use of knowledge. What? Is that maybe why I'm not allowed to get in? Go in here. They're studying the dismembering of humans. What? <laughs> I did my intro right. Right. Isu uh, Darkage. Adamant ingot. Ooh. Nothing here. I actually believe there are no other guards in here. So, no need to worry. Alrighty. Still a bit to find. There's the last chest. Oh no, the ingot. Huh. Well, I'm one chest missing. I mean, I could technically get out of here already. Oh, frick, it's image here again. But I want to finish this place perfect. There's the chest. Finished. Well, let's get out of here. I really... Why are they trying to stop me? Like, what do they... I'm the... I'm the diggity, stop it. You will not win. You don't have a chance. You don't even have a choice. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, let's go for this. Over there. But, uh, you know, I mean, he might, I mean, I don't know their mechanics and whatnot, but if this is actual sunlight, he's now shining on the plants, you know, 24 hours, I'm not too sure if the plants are going to like this, you know, photo. Right photosynthesis 
needs some rest sometimes, if I remember correctly. I mean, I am no plant biologist, whatever. But, you know, humans also don't work 24 hours. And if they do, they'll break down pretty quickly. Can you not get up? Oh, fucking hell. Yeah. Get over there. Fucking final. Get up! What's your problem? Uh, I saw you climb smooth stone before. Don't now be like that. I... Oh hey, there's a staircase up here. Don't tempt me killing you. Power of understanding. Oh, that'd be useful. I'd like to understand this game. Oh, I'm sorry. I just had to. <laughs> but I feel like we're getting close to the end. I kind of hope. Or I believe we're probably going to be at. Uh, done with the game in 10 maximum episodes at least if it's you know uh, if it's just those side quests now and afterwards finding everything uh, the finding usually takes quite a while but for finding things I can just make it longer quick follow me and trust the I'm no stranger. I'm El Peace. And I've been watching you. That's not ominous at all. <laughs> I'm not a stranger. I have my name. I'm not a stranger. If you know me, my name. <laughs> I'll drop the cloak and dagger. I've been training to become like you. But training isn't enough. You're more than a warrior. The blood of the gods runs through your veins. I thought they preferred Isu in Atlantis. The Isu may as well be the divine with how they rule. Cold, calculating, indifferent to the people milling beneath them. But it's not just Isu blood that makes you special, is it? There's something else. Well, you tell me. I'm talking about this, your spear. Oh, Fordick! Oh, it's been a while! Just a little. Are you impressed? You're strangely charming. For a thief. Flattering. But we have business to attend to, the Castis. So, what do you want from me? I'm involved with Atlas. He's afraid of taking the relationship public. He says his enemies would exploit me as his weakness, so he keeps me a secret. Can I explain? Wait, you're in love with Atlas. From that crazy son of a bitch. I'm not sure Isu men truly love. Nevertheless, I need to make him see that I can be his strength. Our partnership might be a key to bridging the gap between Isu and humans. Your love is strategic. If we take the relationship public, we could marry and I could rule the district by his side, influence policy and ease the tension between the two groups. Well, I might end so up killing Atlas, so... So merely human, it can never be. That's why I want to be like you. It would be you know, I can't just change your parents in hindsight. What's your plan? At the Adamant Metalon, they harvest a metal used to create devices just like your spear. My spear's the strongest metal ever forged. Could this be used to forge other weapons? Well, Adamant ingots could. But what I need is raw Adamant. 
I know the one who can forge it for me. The Atlas can't suspect what I'm up to, so make sure you're not seen. You know, a weapon doesn't make you half god. When the time is right, please hurry back. A weapon just does. It. You don't become an Ephilim just because you're you have a, a neat weapon. Oh yeah, did you guys knew Nephilim means half god? If I remember correctly, most that's the adamant metal piece told me about. Uh, most media's depict Nephilim as some kind of higher angel, if at all. But I mean, it's ready explainer. Awesome guy. He had a video where he worked with. Careful. Well. Want to be caught here. Bible researcher, like official Bible researchers, researcher, and yeah, like works but yeah like real researchers not just those oh the word of god must be true yeah like scientists who research the bible and not you know just some priests who research it I'm sorry, but I personally, I don't really like church and religions. I myself believe in God, but I don't be believe in religion. It's just, I'm sorry. Uh, I don't want to get into my beliefs. No, 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 no. Everyone's free to believe what he will, what he wants. But yeah, pretty much, apparently, Nephilim is a word used in the real, real old versions of the Bible, and, well, it's a word used for half-gods. I mean, I could go into more detail here, but I really don't want to get into religion. This feels like a topic you better don't talk about, you know, because it might end up with some people feeling bad about it. And you don't want that. I don't want f people feeling bad for what they believe in. Like... Believe what you wanna believe. I don't care. As long as you don't hurt other people, everything's fine. Well, as long as you don't hurt other people and force it onto others. Though, does this count as hurting other people? Eh. Shit! Got to smother it! Can I one shot you? No. So I need to use an. whatever thingy. Oh, where's this leading? Oh, it's just a shortcut. Like this might be where they store the raw items after making it. Well, that's a big guy. Are you taller, Mark? Oh, fuck. Just the captain. Yeah. 
You look important. Got the raw adamant. I'll bring this to El Peace. It's reacting with my staff somehow. Almost like they were meant to. Just one more treasure and I'm done here. I'm surprised with the noise of the water he didn't notice. Yo, camera, you can't go higher. I don't need you that close. Where's the second chest? Come on guys, give me a second chest. Oh, I'm sorry, but... Wait a minute, I was in there! How did I not... What? How did I not fu- Why didn't I go down before? Hello. Hello, top of mon- <laughs> No. <laughs> uh, I watch too much of the PewDiePie. You know. Jacksepp the guy. Right, that's- that was- That's the guy, right? Too much of them playing Minecraft together, oh god. I was never too interested in vanilla Minecraft, but they at least make it entertaining. At least to me. But yeah, I'm gonna end the episode here. Huge thanks for everyone still watching, and if you'd like to do me a favor, please comment auto down below to let me know if someone actually made it to the end. Aside from this, feel free to leave a like if you enjoyed, subscribe for more, and whoop, goodbye.